Dear folks, welcome to your security newsroom. The U.S. fighter jets were once again seen carrying long-range air-to-air missiles during RIMPAC 2024 military exercise back in July. The F-18 Super Hornets from VFA-2 and VFA-192 squadrons that took part in the exercise were carrying AIM-174B missiles that were believed to be having a range of more than 400 up to even 500 kilometers making it even long-distance traveling missile than Phoni X-154 missile that has a range of approximately 250 kilometers. If true, these air-to-air missile, especially this AIM-174B can be fired upon from one state's airspace to another state's airspace, as few states may have their depth more than that of 500 kilometers. So these should be termed as interstate air-to-air missiles or ISOM, a new category of its own in the history of aerial warfare. These missiles are developed from surface-based anti-aircraft missiles often known as SAM. This AIM-174B was developed from the U.S. Navy-designated SM-6 missiles. These SM or standard missiles are range of U.S. shipborne surface-to-air missiles. These missiles have been categorized as medium-range anti-air warfare missiles. The AIM-174B is variant of SM-6 missile which is also known as RIM-174 missile. This air-to-air version is developed by Raytheon Corporation. These SM-6 missiles can be used against range of targets include enemy aircrafts, ballistic and cruise missiles. It can even be used as an anti-ship missile. The AIM-174B air-to-air missile is one of the long-range air-launched anti-aircraft missile that was first reported in 2015 and later was spotted in 2018. This project is simultaneously pursued by U.S. military with AIM-260 missile project, which is another long-range AMRAM, which is built by Lockheed Martin. The AIM-174B will be around five times in weight to well-known AIM-120C, a well-known anti-aircraft missiles, making it a very overweight missile ranging around 1,900 pounds. This mean a limited aerial platform will be able to fly with this missile. The missile has been seen carried by F-18 Super Hornets. This missile with its postulated range of 300 to 400 km makes it potent against AWACS, air refuelers and big aerial platforms. This missile uses solid fuel rocket motor and can attain speed of 3.5 Mach. It is reported to have loft characteristics, where missile gain altitude after being fired. This ascendancy in turn helps it reaching long distances. It contains various guidance systems including inertial navigation, semi-active and active radar guidance. The missile by shape contains dual fins at the middle and steering control at the rear portion. Although it lacks solid fuel rocket booster at its tail, which is present in SM-6 missile. This could have been done in order to achieve reduced weight. On the other hand, American adversaries including Russia and China also have their own long-range air-to-air missile. Russia has R-37 Vimpel missile, whereas Chinese PL-21 is said to have extended ranges touching 400 kilometers. This Russian R-37 missile has been seen carried by MiG-31 aircraft. The R-37 missile is claimed to be a hypersonic air-to-air missile is built by Russian Tactical Missile Corporation. The missile can achieve an impressive speed up to Mach 6, whereas its weight is around 1,100 pounds. Its range is also up to 400 kilometers making it dangerous against large and slow-moving platforms including AWACS, refuelers and other ISR platforms. This range provides an advantage to take a shot from very far distances. This missile has been reportedly used in Ukraine war and said to have recorded longest-range air-to-air kill of Ukrainian MiG-29 from almost 213 kilometers. It contains boost-sustained solid rocket as propellant while it relatively lacks much of fins or steer control use. This is probably because it reaches to hypersonic speed and has thus limited vectoring or maneuvering capabilities. This R-37 missile also have inertial navigation and both semi-active and active radar guidance. The use of R-37 in Ukraine war and seeing of AIM-174B carried by F-18s in military exercises means a lot for future wars. As, both AIM-174B and Russian R-37 Vimpel are indeed lethal long-range air-to-air missiles that have their strong contribution in changing dynamics of modern war fighting and tactics of fielding aerial platforms in wars. For more such videos do not forget to like and subscribe.